Afternoon, a New Mexico think tank is calling out the lottery board for playing it fast and loose with scholarship money, the facts, and overpaying the lottery CEO. News 13's Francesca Washington is here with details. Think New Mexico is claiming the board didn't do their research before approving the CEO's raise. Caught in a lie. And what we discovered is that uh, David Barden is grossly overpaid compared to his peers. Back in July, CEO for the New Mexico Lottery, David Barden, got a 26% raise, making his salary $220,000. There is nothing in his performance that seems to justify that raise. Months ago, chairman of the Lottery Authority Board, Dr. Dan Salzdweedle, defended the raise, saying the potential for earnings for bonuses is now just a part of his salary. He is getting what he deserves. Back then, Sol's Guido also said Barden's salary was below market, comparatively speaking. Think Tank, Think New Mexico asked the lottery board for the comparison of CEO salaries in other states. And we were told they did no comparison. And Sal Zwiedel wrote us a letter just saying it was based on his experience. So we did the study for them. Think New Mexico Executive Director Fred Nathan says they had summer interns call all the other states that have lotteries. They found that David Barden is paid better than CEOs in all but six states. And he's paid better than the CEOs in Texas, California, New York, and Florida, which have multi-billion dollar lotteries. New Mexico only generates $143 million by contrast. Nathan says every dollar that goes towards Barden's compensation package is a dollar less to pay for college scholarships that students and families are struggling to afford. Spokesperson for the governor's office, Nora Sackett, responded to the study saying, I think both the salary increase and the way it was brought about are unreasonable and certainly run counter to the goals of the state lottery program. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Francesca. Now, we did reach out to the lottery board today. We did not hear back.